Okay, so update time. Uh, the first major thing that I've done here with the layout is changing this backdrop piece right here. So if you do remember, it went down that way. Because of the way that the scene is going to go, I had to undo it and I curved it going along here because this is all one scene and on the other side there that's going to be another scene. Well at least just for down here. When I go up to the next level it might be a little bit different but for down here I wanted it to curve in like this. So next up what we have to do, I, I did mark out uh, a lot of different shapes here on this piece of wood for where the track is going to go and I kind of have to bring it out down this way. I have a couple of cuts there to make and a couple of cuts here. But um, yeah, I have to still continue this on a little further and add uh, some more support there so that the backdrop has something to lock into. But one of the biggest updates here that I have so far is this giant peninsula. So I got, obviously I had it already cut out. Um, I had it marked with a giant uh, 30 degree radius and I basically did that with one of these. So I'll show you how I did that. I took one of these scrap pieces of wood that I have and my son likes to draw on it, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, and then I put a nail or a screw in this case at one end and I drilled three holes at this end here. So this is my 30 inch radius. This is for the track. So pencil fits right in there. See, and it goes through the other side. So let's say for example, if I'm making a curve, this went into the wood, right? It holds in there. And then when I turn it, it all stays at the same length and it goes right around marking right where the track goes. So I did that marking the entire track going around here. Now, because I wanted a bit of space on this side of it and a bit of space on this side of it, I also did a hole on either side. I think it's about, an, so we're going from 30 inches to 31.5 and 30 to 28.5. And I did the same thing with each one, you know, put the pencil in, marked it out, and it was good to go. So when we look at it, let's see if I can come around to this side here, if there's a little bit here showing. There we go. So here's the three lines. The outside line was a cut, cut line. The inside, where that line is, is the center line, so that's the track. And I also had an inside line as well. Now because of the size of the riser it basically fits in between which happy accident i didn't actually plan that but it worked out that way and then i also gave myself another inch or so because i didn't want this right up against the edge of this i wanted to leave a bit of a drop drop space here in case i want to do like a a rock wall along here or something i haven't decided yet but uh and i went all the way around with that as you can see, yeah, there is a bit of space there in between the center of the track and the outside. So I'll be able to fill that in. Now on these curves, I didn't want it to be right up against it. So here you can obviously see I rounded it out a bit wider just so I can kind of scenic that and it'll look nice going around there. Same thing with over here too. So I made it kind of like a, a bit of a fatter corner there but it still remains, uh, retains its shape. So as you can see, it's very round. Uh, I like how it turned out, I'm very happy with it. And obviously I had to cut like a notch right in the middle of this, just to kind of slide it right in there. I raised up the center though, by about seven, and well, it works out to being about four inches, but uh, I had to cut 7.5 inch pieces to raise it up where this piece here is flat. And uh, Mark was nice enough, he grabbed these risers for me, it's a whole box. Uh, and I was able to hot glue it down. I went along the edge there, you can kind of see it's kind of shiny. 
and when we put it like this, it basically goes, oh, I think it's upside down, let me check, yeah, so eventually it's going to go like this, and it goes right up onto the top of it, so that, uh, that's basically what's going to happen, but it's going to happen right here, so that connects, it goes around, and then it's going to come over, uh, well, that's as far as it goes here, right? So that's where the top. So the wood is going to be here, and it's going to connect with this piece, which that's all going to get raised up. And then I'll be able to put a switch right up here to go into an industry right up here, and that'll obviously all be raised up as well. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I feel like I'm making some great progress here on this. And of course this year I'll come back and I'll finish it where it comes and it goes right through there. Uh, there's going to be have, like have to be like a hole there, which I'll, you know, I'll do that after. But yeah, it's going to go through there. And if you follow the markings here, it goes under this track here. And it's going to come out a portal scene. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. It's going to come down this way. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what I've been working on and making some really good progress with it. So I can't wait to lay the cork and I'm going to elevate this curve here as well. So it'll have like a little bit of a, you know, a, a tilt going around. So it seems like a smoother run. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this side, which I have no idea yet. Uh, I feel like that little corner in there is not gonna get utilized at all, <laughs> unfortunately, like right in here, but who cares? <laughs> it's out of sight, out of mind anyways. So my main focus is on like all this. So uh, probably get an industry in here and either scenery or dividing scenery here into another scene or industry on this side. I don't know, I haven't really thought about it too much yet, um, but the, the layout is gonna allow me to get a number of different industries in here. So I gotta figure out uh, what I need still. Okay, so on to my next section here. As you can see, I've already started doing a lot of cutting. Uh, basically I finished putting the risers in here as you can see and I wanted to bring up the land behind it because uh, I mean there's gonna be fascia right along here and it's gonna go into that uh, so I basically I, I took uh, scrap pieces that I had from my old layout it's like recycling right so I basically I fit them and I cut them to you know whatever I guess angle and all that to make it form fit here. This is all gonna get filled in, that's not a problem. But basically, as you can see here, as it comes up, and comes up the incline, and then it goes level right onto the, the wood. And I basically, I'm filling it in. See, there's like another tiny piece there. It was only like four and a quarter that I needed in there, so why not? And then I basically cut where it drops, and those are posted down there. I still have to cut this one here, because uh, there's like a bit of a curve. It's going to be a curve in the wood here. Uh, and then it's supposed to go under, so I'm going to cut a little piece here to snug fit uh, the next piece of wood into that. Uh, and then, yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I'm almost ready for to, to put some cork down. I'm eventually gonna get uh, get a box or two, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's a good height, and uh, everything is basically level. Um, pretty pretty happy about how it's turning out, and then I'll be able to put an industry right in here. Uh, I did cut this right down the middle here because what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna lower this side, and I'm gonna blend it so you won't even know. Uh, hill, trees, stuff like that or, or around here, maybe like a rock face. And this side here is going to be lower. So originally this was all flat, but I'm dropping the hammer here 
and uh, this is gonna go back in, but it's much lower. Uh, these are raised to a height of about seven and a half inches. So I've got seven and a half inches right along here, and then it's gonna go across a bridge at one point here. But I have to start working on the lower, lower part before I start crossing over there. So that's what I've got so far. Gonna get some more work done, and then I'll be back and show you some more. Okay, so other than the uh, the work that I've been doing lately, there's some stuff that's come from me in the mail, and there's also some stuff that was given to me, so I just want to uh, show you guys some of that stuff as well. So, obviously you can see I've got some trouble, the double track rail bridge concrete abutments. Uh, you get two in that pack, they're ones that I've used in the past, I really like them. Uh, they're really nice, easy to build, uh, and I'll need them because I've got a set of three bridges, which I'll show you after. And because I have three bridges, I need some piers as well. So I did get the matching uh, pier set where you get two in the uh, the Walther's kit there. Again, really nice. You can make them into singles or you can make it into a double, but I'll need it as a double for sure. So also, because I've been kind of building here, you can see that I'm already sort of building somewhat of an industry. Uh, so I thought, okay, so I want some tanker cars and uh, you know, I, you know, I like tanker cars. So I wanted to start collecting more. So I did end up getting three of the shell ones. So I want to do like a, a gas depot, um, maybe like a shell station kind of distribution. So I've got a set of the loading unloading racks, which is really nice because uh, you can put those beside the rail and whatnot. Then I got one of these, which is also really nice, which I'll, I'll probably use this for the trucks because obviously the trucks, they roll in and whatnot. So I'm going from uh, train to truck in this area here. And I also got a truck served fuel distributor. Now I don't need that little building there because I'm obviously using other methods here for that. Um, but I use the little guard house up here with a little guard shack. And then I've got the tankers that I've already built, which are really nice. And I was gonna use this as my scrap yard uh, building on my last layout, but I'm gonna carry it over here and I'm just gonna use that as the building, the uh, I guess maintenance and all that. Uh, for this complex. So uh, that's kind of my plan here. I'm not sure if that's going to be the setup and I'm still not sure about how the tracks are coming in but it'll be a double track for sure and then it'll be connecting to the main down that way. And then lastly uh, for the live show Mark came by and he actually brought me a Procore tank car. I've been looking for one of these everywhere not specifically white or black but just in general, pro car with the uh, large logo. So it's very nice. It was very nice of him to do that. He found me one of those. Uh, so shout out to Eminem Rails, great friend of mine. So uh, again, Mark, thank you so much for uh, finding me one of those. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's it. So starting, you know, to build up a little bit more, and obviously I'm getting a lot of work done trying to work at my my track plan and whatnot here and trying to see what works but eventually you know it'll all come together oh yeah we've got three bridges as well so these are the double track bridges from walther's uh i bought them pre-built uh and there's a bit of paint on it it is like a grayish color i'll probably repaint them because i don't think i wanted a dark gray but um yeah that's basically how it's gonna go and it's gonna come across right like that and then there's going to be tracks underneath to go that way so yeah i mean busy 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 i put my test backdrop up just to kind of see and i think it looks nice but uh i'm not sure what backdrop i'm using for this whole lower level i just wanted to test that out so there you go thanks for watching i'm go Vier, go home Till next time.